Okay, in this class we are going to look at a classical puzzle called Sudoku. And I'll show you how to solve it and then you can solve any of the puzzles that you find on the internet. So what's a puzzle? You have a grid of nine columns and nine rows and it's divided into blocks of nine boxes each. Three by three, three by three, three by three, three by three, three by three. Three by three. And these are the columns 1 to 9 and there's a column 1 to 9. And some of them are blanks, some of them contain numbers. So, what are the rules of the game? The grid is made of 81 squares 9 by 9 and is partially filled. And all 81 numbers have to be filled with 1 to 9, 9 times. And the only requirements are that every row must contain some permutation of 1 to 9. Every column must contain 1 to 9. And every subsquare must contain 1 to 9. So, what's a subsquare? This is a subsquare. It must contain 1 to 9. Okay, and how do you solve a problem? It's pretty easy. I'll, it's a strategy I will tell you now. So, examine each row and each column and subsquare with one missing number. And if it's missing exactly one number, you can just fill it in. Okay, and so for example, in this case, the only number, one number is missing out here. And you can see it should be probably be 8. In this case, there is only one number missing. You'll probably know which one is missing. And similarly, in this column, only one number is from 1 to 9, 1 is missing. And if you're not able to see it, obviously, in the beginning, you'll have to just say 1 is there, 2 is there, 3 is not there. So, it has to be 3. Okay? So, try filling in exercises with like one missing number. Uh, you can do it offline later on. And then solution is there. Sec second exercise, we'll skip the exercise. And then secondly, if there are two numbers, two or more numbers missing on a row column or a subsquare, you need to have a better strategy. So what we'll do is uh, find an empty square and then make a list of numbers 1 to 9. Then examine that column and examine that row and tick off what the numbers that are present in, in that row or column. And then what is left over are the choices that you have. Okay, so we'll look at an example. So in this case, so in this case, this this number we have to fill in. So we have choices uh, from one to nine. W the numbers we have one to nine to fill in, and then uh, we eliminate two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from it. So you left it one and nine, and then from one to nine again you eliminate four. 7, 5, 6, 8, 2, 9. So you left it 1 and 3. So in all the three, the common number that is that you can have is 1. So it has to be 1 because it's not in this row or this column. So we did by elimination and enumerating all the possibilities. So let's look at another example. So in this case, what are the possibilities? Strategy 2. Uh, so you have 1 to 9 as a choice out here. But 4, 7, 2 and 9 cannot be there because of this thing. And 3, 5, 6, 8 cannot be there. So whatever is left over has to be there. Similarly, in this case, in this square, it cannot be, it, there cannot be 7 or 9. So 7 and minus 7, 9, minus 5, 6, 8 and th uh, 3 also. And then uh, 3, in this subsquare, you cannot have 3, 4, 2, and 7. All these are gone. So only one number will be left. And that's what you need to fill in. And strategy 3 is basically slightly more complicated. In this case, again, uh, 7, 8, 7, 8 cannot be there. In this row, 7, 8 cannot be there. So 7, 8 has to be, this can be 7, 8, this can be 7, 8. And if you look at this way, there's a 4 out here, there's a 4 out here, 4 out here. So 8 cannot be here. So there has to be 7. And so 8 is left over. This has to be 8. And let's look at that. And you still have blank squares that you cannot fill out. So write down all the choices that are available for these blank squares. Then what you can do is try to solving the problem. Say, okay, just pick one of the solutions as a standard solution. And come back to it uh, later on to this uh, problem. Or you could do is basically... Pick the, the easiest solution first and as you pick the easy ones, the harder ones get easier because more and more squares are filled up. So try solving the easier blanks first. 
and then you go back to the more difficult ones and then you look at all the choices you made and again you can there's a homework problem and it has a lot of blanks but it can be solved and you can go online and find more problems thank you